in the second part of this video we will solve the questions of exercise 4.3 so the main topics will be the quadratic formula and completing the squares hello my muslim students i am nena and i make videos related to ncrt solution of classes 9 to 12 for the mathematics sub you can find the link for the part 1 in the description box so let's start question number 5 of exercise 4.3 which says that in a class test the sum of shefali's marks in mathematics and english is 30 okay so marks of shefali is given for mathematics and english so the question says that had she got two marks more in mathematics and three marks less in english so this is some relation given to us using this relation we will derive our quadratic equation okay the product of their marks would have been 210 right find her marks in the two subjects so we have to find out her marks in two subjects how we will find out we will use this relation and then find out the marks in the two subjects okay so let us first imagine we do not know her marks in any subject so let us imagine that the marks in mathematics is you can imagine marks in any subject first because the first condition given to you is related to sum okay so if you will imagine the marks in mathematics is are, um, are x so the marks in english will be how much marks in english will be equal to 30 minus x because the condition given is that sum of shefali's marks in mathematics and english is 30 sum of both the subjects is given so suppose marks in one subject is 10 then how much marks will be in the other subject the marks in other subject will be 30 minus 10 that means 20 so that's why i have taken marks in one subject as x and in another subject marks will be equal to 30 minus x <coughs> okay this was my first condition so coming to the second condition had she got two marks more in mathematics means according to given condition according to given condition is what two marks more in mathematics so earlier marks were x so two more means x plus 2 and three marks less in english so three marks less in english will be how much three marks less in english will be equal to the current marks minus 3 that means 30 minus 3 is 27 minus x <coughs> okay so the product of their marks would have been 210 so the product of these new marks according to this given condition product if we will do product of these two marks we will get value equal to 210 okay so x plus 2 into 27 minus x will give me 210 so this is the product so i have written my equation as per the given condition okay so now you can simplify your equation you will get a quadratic and solve that quadratic equation by find, using any method either factorization completing the square or quadratic formula you will get two values and that those two values will be your marks in the two subjects okay so let us simplify it first so x into 27 is what 27x this will give you what minus x square plus 2 into 27 will give you 54 minus 2x is equal to 210 <coughs> okay then do addition and subtraction of the similar terms so it will give you 27 minus 2 will be 25 then this minus x square plus 54 this will come here and it will give you minus 210 okay 25x minus x square it will give you what when you will subtract it then you will get 150 is equal to 0 okay now take everything to the right hand side so you will get what x square minus 25x plus 156 is equal to 0 okay so 
get forgot from the these kind of statement questions because are because these are also simpler as simple these questions are right you have to write down your you have to write down your given equation your statement as per step by step and write down in the form of equation okay so now solve this equation using quadratic formula okay so now it is very much simple quadratic formula you have to first check that whether your real roots exist or not and that how we check we check by using b square minus 4ac is greater than 0 or not so you uh, have to find out now a b and c how we find out we compare our given equation with the standard form of given equation okay so i will get my a as 1 b as minus 25 and c is equal to 156 <coughs> all right so put the values and you will get the result so minus 25 square minus 4a into 156 so you know the squares of 25 and 25 is equal to 625 minus when you will do multiplication of 4 into 156 you will get 4 6 the 24 carry 2 4 5 the 20 22 carry 2 again 4 once the 4 and 24 it will be 1 which is greater than 0 okay so that means our real roots exist understood so moving to the next step to find out the roots so how we find out the roots we use the formula x is equal to minus b plus under root of b square by 4ac is divided by 2a and the second formula is minus b minus under root of b square minus 4ac is divided by 2a minus b is what minus 25 plus under root of b square minus 4ac b square minus 4ac you have find out earlier also which is equal to 1 divide by under root of 1 and a is what a is my 1 simplify it 25 plus 1 divide by 2 which will give you 26 by 2 that means it is equal to 13 right next minus b b is what minus 25 minus under root of b square minus 4ac is what it is 1 divided by 2a 2a is 1 minus and minus will give you 25 minus 1 divide by 2 that means 24 by 2 that means you will get one value as 12 okay so 1 is 13 and second value is 12 okay so what it what what does it mean that your marks in we have imagined marks in mathematics as x so marks in mathematics can be either equal to 13 or equal to 12 so how we will find out marks in english so marks in english will be equal to marks in so marks in english will be equal to 30 minus 12 or marks in english can be equal to 30 minus 13 so marks can be either 18 or marks can be either 70 right so your two answers can be possible then either your marks in mathematics is 12 then your marks in english will be 18 and if your marks are in mathematics 13 then your marks in english will be 17 okay moving to question number six question number six says what the diagonal of a rectangular field is 60 meter more than the shorter side so diagonal of what is given to you which figure is given to you this is a rectangular figure so draw the figure side by side when you are reading the statement draw the figure <coughs> rectangular is given and what else is given to you diagonal of a rectangular field is 60 meter so this diagonal is given to you which is 60 meter more than the shorter side 60 meter more than the shorter side so it is given to you in respect of this shorter side so let us first assume that my shorter side is equal to x meter okay then how much will be my diagonal my diagonal is 60 meter more than my 
shorter side more means we have to add some value okay more then if the longer side is 30 meter so this is given to you that your longer side is longer side is how much 30 meter more than the shorter side <coughs> so longer is how much 30 meter more than the shorter side so find the sides of the field so you have to find out the sides of these fields so so this longer side is given to you x plus 30 and this diagonal is given to you x plus 60 right so you can see that this is a right angle triangle and this is my perpendicular this is my base and this is my hypotenuse so you know the formula that this is sorry the, and this shorter side is given to you how much this is we have imagined that this is x meter okay so what is the formula of uh, pythagoras theorem pythagorean theorem says that hypotenuse square is equal to perpendicular square plus base square so hypotenuse is what x plus 60 whole square is equal to perpendicular is what x square and base is what x plus 30 whole square so that means when we will do the square then we will get x square plus 3600 a square plus b square plus 2a b is equal to x square plus now solve this a plus b whole square you will get a square plus b square plus 2a b okay so x square and x square will get cancelled out from both the side now take out the common terms which you can simplify okay so this will give you 120x is equal to x square plus 900 plus 60x so it will give you 0 is equal to x square plus 60x minus 120x plus 900 minus 3600 so what i have done i have taken this minus 120 to right hand side and also this 3600 to the right hand side okay so i will get x square minus 60x and minus 2700 is equal to 0 so this is my quadratic equation okay so now solve the quadratic equation using the steps of quadratic formula so step number one says what you have to use check whether b square minus 4ac is greater than 0 or not so how you will check that you will compare your given equation with the standard form of equation so my a will be 1 b will be equal to minus 60 and C will be equal to minus 2700. <coughs> okay. So put the values and find out. So B square is 60 square minus 4A. A is 1 and C is minus 2700. Okay. So what you will get from here? 60 square is 3600. Minus and minus will give you plus and simplify this you will get 4 7 is the 28 carry 2 4 2 is the 8 <coughs> 8 and 2 is 10 so when you will add this value you will get 0 0 4 8 plus 6 14 and this will give you 3 plus 1 4 and you will get 1 4 4 double 0 which is greater than 0 <coughs> okay so that means your real roots exist all right next step number two step number two is what use the formula and find out your roots minus b plus under root of b square minus 4ac is divided by 2a and from here you will get x is equal to minus b minus under root of b square minus 4ac is divided by 2a simply put the values minus b is minus 60 plus under root of b square minus 4ac is equal to 0 is what this is under root of 144 double 0 divided by 2a a is what a is 
1. Similarly, put the values here minus 60 minus under root of 144 double 0 divided by 2a is 1. So, minus and minus will give you plus 60 plus <coughs> what is the square root? 144 square is 12 and hundreds is 0 divided by 2. That means 180 by 2 which is equal to 9. Minus 60 and minus 60 will give you plus 60. This will give you 120 and divided by 2. So, minus 60 by 2 which will give you minus 30. <coughs> okay. So, keep remember while solving these kind of questions when you get negative value then negative value is not possible because we are calculating dimensions and any dimensions can never be negative. Okay. So, my answer will be that my shorter side is how much my shorter side will be equal to 90 meters so i have imagined my shorter side as x so my shorter side is <coughs> x meter and what i have to find out i have to find out the sides of the field so do not forget this to find out the second side otherwise you will lose your marks in your exam okay so shorter side we have find out we have to also find out our longer side so what will be my longer side my shorter side is 90 so my longer side will be 90 plus 30 which will be equal to 120 meter okay if you find this video useful then please do like share and subscribe my channel and in the next video, we will solve the remaining questions of the exercise 4.3. So please subscribe my channel so that you can get updates for the next video. Thank you and bye-bye.